Hey guys and welcome back to my channel aka welcome back to my bed. <laughs> I am homesick at the moment and I'm editing this video that you're watching right now. How trippy is that? It's tripping me out. I'm just chilling, just chilling in my hoodie. I've been wearing this hoodie for three days now. It's actually like really hot here but I have like hot and cold flushes at the moment. <coughs> I thought I was gonna sneeze and then I coughed. I'm just so sexy right now. <laughs> so I have I have company. My little helpers who aren't really helping, they're just laying on everything. The footage was filmed over two days, so you saw the Jerry's, which was part of the first day, and you will now see the second part of that day, which was installing some new LED lights from Supernova. So that's what you'll see first, and then we'll go on to day two where I did some painting. So as disjointed as it all is, I hope it still makes sense and you guys enjoy it. I will get back to editing and you guys can watch the video that I'm now editing. This is so weird. <laughs> Alrighty, so the next sort of thing I've got to do is change over my indicators. These are my old halogen globes and these are the LED replacements from Supernova. So I've already done the Parkers and if you follow me over on Instagram you would have seen the light output that they provide which is huge like almost as bright as my headlights on low beam. That's pretty cool. So obviously it's daylight now but I will show you what they look like during the day because obviously you do use the indicators during the day. Alright guys so this is before so this is the halogen globes. And as you can see, they're not the brightest, especially sort of when you get a bit of distance, like I can't even see them flashing, sort of got to be on the side. So that's before, so just remember what that looks like. This is just the back of my aftermarket ones. Yeah, so those are the LED Parkers from Supernova. And so these are the halogen globes. And then these ones just push in the exact same method. So just push down and twist. And then straight back in the hole. Okay, this is pretty crazy guys. So my hazards are on now. And like if you zoom in, you can see that there's an indicator on. But I don't know about you guys. I can't really see much there. So that's the halogen. That is the LED. How crazy is that? It's so bright. Wow. All right, check the hazards on. brighter and as you can see the backs they'll still flash the same because of the draw on the LED bulb is actually very similar to a halogen globe so it's sort of like having a halogen globe but it's gonna last a hell of a lot longer and As you can see. I'll put the parkers on as well so then you can really see. Day two of modding. I've just started off cleaning out my headlights so I went through a water hole in Mackay a while ago and I got water in the bottom. And it's just been bugging me this whole time because it's just this mud line <laughs> halfway up my my headlights. So. Uh, so yeah, all nice and clean now. So next thing we're gonna do is I've got this weld spot that I welded about it's when I lived in Ipswich, so probably like six, seven years ago. And I just primed it 
I never got around to painting it. So I'm going to flap a disc it back, prime it, and then paint it. And it's gonna look dodgy, but it's gonna be better than a big rough spot there, so. All right, so number one, safety. Which otherwise you guys throw tantrums. <laughs> so earmuffs, safety's very important. Let's do this. Now we're just going to prime it. Okay, so I'm in by no means a painter. This is a, a rough touch-up job because I'm pretty sure the colour that I got is probably not even the right one. You're going to be able to see it anyway. <laughs> it's just sort of to get rid of the rust. Aesthetically from a long way away, it's going to look good. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're just going to go around and I'm going to use the last of what's in here. Just on some stuff. But she's not, she's not going to win any beauty awards. But we've just covered up all the rust. Bits on there, little bits on the tray. I'll just show you guys how it's coming out. It's pretty, pretty nice. Alrighty, all done. It's hard to see with that sun. But no more rust spots. That's not too bad. It's better than what it was. It was pretty ugly before.
might wrap up this video here. It's been, oh, oh, hello. Do you want to say hello to everyone? No, I want to play. Excuse me, excuse me. I would like to play, please. Don't jump on my tray. I just painted it. Don't do that. Well, everyone wants to be on the video. So we've done a lot. I put the Pro Quip Jerry's on. Um, we put some Supernova LED indicators. Ow, oh, it's my sunburn. Oh, now oh. Lily's here. You guys. Hey, Papa. She like hugs you. Hey, look at this crank bum over here. Okay. <laughs> yes, we put in the Supernova LED indicators. Ah, we painted my tray. <laughs> So yeah, it's starting to look a bit, a bit nice. Tasha on the wheels. What have we got left? I've got to put on the car builder's bonnet insulation. I've got to put in my GME aerial, so it's the XRS kit. Yeah, I think I think that's about it. So got a bit done this weekend, got a bit left to do. Look at the sky. So I'm off to go find wherever the wherever I put my beer and just relax. <laughs> yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you want to see those upcoming mods, um, I'll probably be doing a second mod video as well. If you're not subscribed already, I'd love you guys too because it really supports this channel. It makes me feel like this is worth it. <laughs> And if you're not already, jump over and follow me on Instagram because that's where I am nearly every single day. I'm gonna lie, I'm there every day. <laughs> every day. <sighs> Just holding my arm. This camera's so heavy. I'm gonna go drink some beer now. <laughs>